Welcome back to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. Let's get to our athletes tip of the week. Each show, a local athletic trainer will give some insight into how to better perform. And this week with the weather still pretty hot, King's College's Greg Janik tells us how to stay cool. So there's different grades of heat illness. It starts out with basic muscle cramping. Uh, then it progresses to more significant with heat exhaustion. And then you have heat stroke, which is the most significant uh, form of the heat illness. Heat illness would start out with muscle cramping, exactly what it identifies. You would have some cramping to the muscles. Uh, when you go to heat exhaustion, you have a little bit more significant signs and symptoms, dizziness, not feeling well. Uh, and then when you go to heat stroke, the symptoms get even more significant and the telltale sign of a heat stroke is their mental status. So now they cannot concentrate, they would maybe be unconscious, they are disoriented. This is the time to be grave concerns and it's very important at this stage to uh, immediately cool them. So that's one of the things, if you know to immediately cool them, you're recognizing it. So all facilities should have a place such as a pool, a cold tub is ideal, if not towels that they could continually put water on the individual or splash them with water or put ice on as many body parts as possible. It takes a body a long time to acclimate to the heat, up to 14 days. So all acclimatization is generally 14 day period. So oftentimes you'll hear about football players, for instance, wearing helmets for a few days, then helmet shoulder pads for a few days, and then back to full equipment. And then even from that point, there should never be two consecutive days of uh, double sessions. It needs to alternate between a single and a double day for that 14 day period. So the best way to combat a heat illness is to prevent a heat illness. And the ways to do that, you always hear about hydration and while hydration is important, because if you step onto the field dehydrated, you're putting yourself at an increased risk of a heat illness. But the primary way that you're gonna do that, it's about exercise intensity. So you need to make sure that you have water breaks. The water break, the most important part is not the water, it's the break itself. So every 30 minutes, there should be about a five to 10 minute break. If the temperature, the, the apparent heat is higher, so for instance, the humidity is higher, the temperature is higher, there should be more frequent breaks. So maybe every 15 to 20 minutes, now you have the water break. And again, it's not necessarily the water, but the break itself that helps prevent these heat illnesses. All right, thanks, Greg. Let's get to this week's Get to Know, where we learn more about our area's athletes off the field. This week, meet Mount Carmel's Manus McCracken, who's got a very interesting hidden talent. The Fox 56 Sports Show Get to Know. This week, let's meet Mount Carmel junior linebacker Manus McCracken. What's your favorite movie? It's called Big Fish that's funny and well done. Do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is probably tacos. What's the last book you read? Um, Their Eyes Are Watching God for AP Lit. What's your favorite sports memory? My favorite sports memory is getting third place at Eastern Nationals in sixth grade. Any hobbies? My hobbies outside of football are hiking, skiing, reading, uh, having fun. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself being successful. Do you have a celebrity crush? That's a good question. Celebrity crush is Bernie Sanders. We'll go with that. How about any hidden talents? I sing. I, my hidden talent is I'm, I'm a singer. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me And on that jingle jangle morning I'll come following you The Fox 56 Sports Show Get to Know Up next on the Fox 56 Sports Show The Lakeland Cheerleaders and the Valley View Cougars Marching Band 